These are species that may not be around much longer, so there's a certain urgency to what can we learn about their biology. I wanted to understand a deeper developmental biology in these incredible organisms. There's a lot of ways in which the work we're doing on coral is a totally natural extension of the work that we've done in the past on Nematostella vectensis. Corals are actually closely related to sea anemones. Matt was interested to establish or work with corals, and I think we, we had the same goals, and I wanted to be part of this pioneering work, establishing this new model organism at the Star Wars. So I used two different nightarians or early branching animals. In my project in corals, I'm focused on two main stages, the settlement and metamorphosis. Settlement means when the larva search on a specific substrate to attach and settle and initiate the metamorphosis and undergo to primary polyp and start to develop colony. There are groups around the world interested in coral conservation specifically, but understanding the fundamental biology of reef building corals is a very challenging proposition. And just a few people in the world are able to do it in the way that we're now poised to do. I did my PhD in a marine station in the Caribbean. It's complicated research that involved many people and a lot of organization. One of the big challenges of working on corals is they spawn once per year. The spawning occurs during the summer after the full moon. The corals release the bundles after sunset. The team that dives plays some net to cover the coral colonies and the bundles float to the surface of the ocean and on the top we collect the bundles. But here, so the only thing that we need to, to do is just go to the basement. It's been many years in the making. In terms of aquatic species, they're one of the most difficult species you could imagine keeping in an aquarium, but we have a lot of talented aquarists here that have been doing it for years. We um, pride ourselves in being able to keep this endangered species really healthy and happy. It was challenging to induce the spawning, and they did. Oh, it's so magical. The aquatic scene has done incredible work. So the first step we're going to take is shift their ecological time, giving us more opportunities to do experiments. We can do sort of comparative studies between corals and sea anemones to build up our technical expertise with the system. After that, how reef building corals collaborate and live together with single-celled algae in order to produce the ecosystem that we all know and love as coral reefs.